Have we got, the, have we got the people here tonight that live down on this, this corner of the, of the property? Yes? Okay, so we've got to look after your place down there also with, with this design. So what Frank's saying about the, the, uh, the drainage system and so forth, we've got to make sure that our runoff of this property... Now, there, the high spot's through there, isn't it, Frank? Yes, it is. Yeah. So yeah. it sort of, it, it does drain this way for half the property. And the it, other way. But that is yeah. quite steep down through there, so... Yeah. That's it's going to be that way. Yeah. 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 Yes. So we've got to... We might even take the top off off that and um, and possibly re-landscape around it. It is fairly why, undulating. Why wouldn't you capture the water and reuse it? Reuse it for, for green first. <sighs> yes, we can. Uh, we can do all that if we're allowed to. Uh, we wanted to do that down, out at Lara, and we we're not allowed to catch water out there. It's better to flood the place. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we're, there's, there's too many catchment areas. So we're, there's, there's, and, and being also, I'm, I'm not sure, we'd have, to, we'd have to do soil samples to find out if we can even, if the storage will even work down in that area. Yeah, get the lane through there, you've got issues, you can dig a large hole, put a clay line around there, but you've also got the pressure off the water pushing into lane behind. Uh, so would it actually be instructional yeah. sand yeah. for it down? And well, it's it's the the all sorts of options. options. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, there, there, there is. And that's the lowest point that top corner. But it all, yeah. but it also comes down. It, it comes down to, uh, yeah, I suppose. Darrell, what's the timeline on, on your? You mentioned this uh, yep. extension of the road into the area. What, what do you envisage as a, a bit of rough idea? I would, I would think, I would think mm -hmm. probably five years before we. The road will have been in this plane for years. Still, it's yeah. the I've been pushing for it, and Darrell's been holding on that. <laughs> Uh, so the road, we expect the road over the next two months, we'll be happy. Yep. Uh, we've got one more beam to put in the existing lawn section before that section is closed and then we'll be towards the back of the site, which could be five years, so we could be out of there within seven years. And we've got to be careful with this road, this, this roadway through here, it is actually, and I, and I explained this at the last meeting, yes sir? It will be access for the cemetery at this point, but what we've got to watch is how much money we spend on this road because it is actually a council designated roadway. Yeah, cemetery road. Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't know whether it ever will. Um, it won't unless somebody else pays for it because council won't, I would imagine. Uh, but I don't know what their overall plan is. We will talk to council about it anyway because it would be. I don't know if we're going to. If it's running through our cemetery. We would love it to be rezoned back to us rather than as a roadway, but um, we'll see what happens. There may be residences down through there, of course, that would prefer the road to run all the way through. No. I don't, I don't no, know. I think we'd get through. No? No? no. 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 Within the cemetery, yep, yeah. yep. So... Just on that, mate, the speaking of cancel, cancel don't have any cancel in the cemetery road. They don't. They don't. At the moment. Sleeping to them last week. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll we're going to talk to them about seeing if we can have it zoned to us, and then it's fait accompli. Then it won't ever be run th run through there. But um, and well, if just the, just even recently, they've got someone down here. So we raised something over the road and over the road. Yeah. Oh, well, that's 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 good. It gives us a little bit more weight. And if I'm hearing from people that live down there that they don't want it to run through. Then uh, we can take that to council also. Yes, ma'am. Over here. Over here. Yep. So the road would go straight through on the left hand side. No, this this road this road's already there. This this one is there to that point, and we we're extending it down to there and hooking it up with this one. Okay. So uh, we probably, our storage area for overburden of soil is, is in here. We would probably construct this bit as well at the same time, Frank. Because yep. he'll always try and extend a little bit more road than what's in the budget. Because that's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> Darrell, you got, you got plans for the mausoleum in there? No. No. Not at, not at this stage. Definite no. definite no is that today. As a, a definite no is that today, yes. Tom was only worried about himself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you've been here, but 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 I don't know if you've been here
is the proportion and increase in the number of cremations for the event area. Is that the prolonged one? Yes. That's going to be considered yep. in well over 30 years. It, it would, but at this point in time, we're running behind percentage of burial, uh, percentage of cremations to what Melbourne metropolitan area is. Melbourne Metro runs at about 70%, we're running at about 64 um, A fair guess would uh, assume that it will only probably get to 70%. Um, it's been running at 70% in Melbourne Metro for for many years. They've had crematorias for a lot longer than what we've had also. So, they haven't got available land, have they? Not that Pardon? They haven't got sort of available land or uh, there's a, there's a uh, Well, yeah, there, there is quite a bit of land mm. still available up there and they're purchasing more. They've got at the moment, they've got land until 2035 uh, without doing a lot more, but uh, they're, they are purchasing more land. Yes, sir? I'm just going to ask a question. If you're extending the road for what reason? Well, is it just for access to the soil or is it just... No, no, it's for where the, at, at the moment, this is was the first lawn section. No, 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 the road. Yeah, this is the second lawn section that yeah. we're using at the moment. Mm. This is the next area that will develop into the lawn section. So to do that, we need access around it mm. so that the hearses can get around there as well as our equipment. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes. Cremation rates. If they if they if they increase, that increases the life of the cemetery. No, we do it. We do it down Hamilton Way. Um, you don't. You don't save any land. At, at, the, at the moment, you, we 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 bury. We can bury three people in a plot anyway. And if we, well, we do. If families wish, if they have, uh, they could have. Well, no, because you take into consider consideration the size of a, of a hole that you would put down for yes. one burial. Yes. Okay, if you put three of those, yes. are you going to only take up the length of a grave? Yes. Maybe, maybe yes. not. Yes. Well, it doesn't. Yes. Most, yep, most people go here, so they don't have. The engine grave will come back in another process of that. The biggest issue we've got is uh, because with this parcel of land in old cemeteries where you might only need a cooling left of half a plot of land. And if you could call drill it down and put something in there, you'd use the length of land you couldn't use. But we're still in June. You know, the corona might want to be deceased. Um, your family might want to move someone back overseas or in the state. You can't short up a round hole and you can't get the deceased out. So uh, you're looking at a hole with a cool drill in three metres deep, three and a half metres deep, and a person squashed down the bottom to no coffin with the two and a half tonne of dirt on top of them, you can't get to the deceased at all. We can still remove anyone out of a grave if that's what the family wants. So, and it doesn't say now. There's questions that you please do ask. Those yeah. Questions. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Just on that there, plus they had pockets in a lot of the great uh, entrants that yep. both want to live in. Yes, they most certainly do. Yes, sir. If the land is rezoned for high density housing, what are the implications of the trucks rezoned? It hasn't been rezoned, it has the ability to be rezoned. They can't rezone it from cemetery special purpose to anything else without permission from us and from our minister. Sorry, I thought it was the No, 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 provision for. They, they, they might like it to stop urban sprawl, but I can't see that they're trying to control it anywhere else anyway. Yes, sir. Is it a time frame on the events? More specific. Uh, we, I suppose, the, the short answer is we we develop we develop in front of ourselves all the time. I can't give you a, a time frame because I I don't know how long it's going to be before that next lawn section fills up. Mm -hmm. um, but as I say, we and we will, I would say. We will probably develop from here and go across anyway. So we'll work off this off this main road um, and perhaps another entrance here, which will be a far safer entrance, I would have to say, than that one there, because mm -hmm. that's not safe at all. Coming out of the cemetery there, you can get uh, collected pretty well. So. Uh,
this will be uh, this will be a lot better. So um, we are now yeah, in conjunction, as I said before, one of the other one of the major growth corridor is the Ballarat Peninsula. Peninsula, obviously. The Drysdale Cemetery, the Port Arlington Cemetery and the Queenscliff Cemetery at Point Lonsdale are really the only ones down on the Bellarine. Um, when we look at this and say, you know, this is maybe 5, 25, might have 30 years left in this cemetery, that's not a long time um, in, in the life of a township, if you like. So we are still proceeding with uh, purchasing land on the Bellarine. We are looking at uh, nearly a 100 acre allotment um, at Marcus Hill at the moment on the Ballerine Highway um, to secure that land there so that we have land down in this main growth corridor um, for at least the next 150, 200 years.